the opportunity to design the BMW iCars was probably uh, something that you probably once in a lifetime uh, will ever experience because it's about a new brand or sub-brand BMW i which we had to create of course a new identity specific for this brand. We had right from the beginning developed a specific design strategy for the BMW i sub-brand where uh, we of course want to combine the idea of sustainability, responsibility, together with the idea of emotion, and this is something that we call Next Premium. The BMW i3 uh, is built around a very innovative uh, concept, which we call Live Drive. What is it exactly? It is uh, pretty much the idea to split, uh, let's say, uh, the driver and the passenger cabin to, uh, let's say, the drivetrain. And actually, uh, this is what is possible when it comes to electric car, because you have to design this car in a totally different manner. And uh, I can show you also what it really means uh, when it uh, comes to, let's say, for example, the interior design. Uh, you see uh, that uh, we have into the i3 an interior which is actually uh, very, uh, let's say, spacious. In order to design uh, BMW i, the i3 and also the i8, we had uh, at the design department uh, two main challenges that we had to address. One was, of course, uh, to define the look and feel of BMW i, because as being a sub-brand, on one side you will recognize BMW, but you will also recognize some, let's say, specific icons or character uh, for this new brand. And uh, the second uh, challenge was, of course, for us, uh, the integration of, let's say, a great deal of new technology uh, which are coming into these uh, cars, the i3 for example, such as uh, the drivetrain, the electric drivetrain, and as well uh, the lightweight construction that you will see in the form of the carbon body. I would like now to show you what makes the design of the i3 uh, so special. We can start, uh, for example, at the front. Uh, you see that uh, we've been uh, using some typical BMW uh, elements, uh, such as the kidney, uh, such as the emblem, but uh, we could treat them in a totally different manner. For example, uh, this is an electric car, and the first thing that's going to bump to your eyes is like, of course, this is uh, closed, this is normal, this is an electric car. But uh, we had the possibility to signal uh, the idea of e-drivetrain through the introduction of this blue that you see here around on the kidneys, as well around the emblem, uh, which is like specific for BMW i cars. Another detail is, for example, uh, the front lamp, uh, which is like full LED. This is highly efficient. You will have like less energy consumption. And additionally, it looks like very precise, very high tech. What you also see uh, is the very strong contrast between, uh, let's say, the black belt, which extends from the front up to the rear over the roof, and, let's say, the body colors uh, design element, such as this bumper. This gives a very strong contrast, but also helps to divide uh, the proportion or, the, let's say, the height uh, of the whole car uh, through this, uh, let's say, design uh, solution. And here, uh, something which is also specific uh, to BMW i, uh, these are like these large wheels. Uh, this is quite untypical, actually, to see such large wheels uh, on a city car or a small car. But again, there was a good reason for that, uh, and that was efficiency. Uh, the diameter is quite large, but the tire is very, uh, let's say, narrow, and that helps to make the aerodynamic or the drag uh, resistance like a lot more uh, effective. And of course, uh, from the design standpoint, we win uh, from the aesthetic point of view. This is 19 inch, and when it comes to big wheel, a uh, car designer would never say no. This is, again, uh, a mega city car or a city car. Uh, you need a, a good, uh, let's say, uh, view all around. And this is offered uh, through this window graphic. We call, actually, this design element stream flow, which is, again, uh, uh, let's say, a unique icon for BMW i uh, that swings uh, from the bed line here up to the rear. That looks also very dynamic, very fluid, very natural as well. Uh, and you also see that uh, there's actually uh, a step between the front door and the rear door because we wanted to make sure that the rear passenger, and it is often some kids, uh, will also have a good vision uh, from the outside. This is uh, important to all eyes to make the rear seating as attractive uh, as the front seating, and this is possible uh, through uh, 
uh, this graphic and in essence you see that the car optically uh, celebrates the idea of lightweight it looks like optically light but it looks also very modern this is something that we definitely wanted to basically uh, bring into the design of the i3 the rear uh, of the i3 uh, is very special i would say nearly very spectacular very futuristic also uh, because the technology that lies in this car is one part of the future and this is something that we wanted to really show uh, also through the rear uh, of the car you see that uh, the extension of the black belt that was running from the front now you find it back here this is here all glass what is also unique uh, for the bmw i3 is the integration of the taillights directly into this part you don't have any uh, shirt line it looks like very clean again like the shape language uh, that you uh, see on the side uh, that has a bit the optic of also what you know from some smartphones so it looks like very high tech we of course like place the badge i3 here uh, on this surface and this is actually a very refined detail that you find here yeah, and uh, again uh, something also which was very important uh, for uh, the development of the i3 again aerodynamic which you find you find here back into the let's say the rear spoiler but also uh, this hedge which are basically uh, surrounding the car and which will be helping to again uh, reduce the drag uh, coefficient very important and you find back also here uh, on the bottom of the car through uh, the rear diffuser so basically the whole four edges of the car are very sharp and help again uh, the idea of efficiency and sustainability we have been designing uh, for the bmw i3 uh, a very uh, special and highly innovative interior uh, that will uh, offer to the passenger and also the driver uh, a unique experience because BMW is about shared driving pleasure and we believe like for BMW i we can also reinterpret this idea of driving pleasure or driving experience and that's basically what dictated uh, all design uh, of course I'm sitting for example on a seat uh, which is like very thin this is highly innovative because it will allow a lot more let's say leg room uh, for the rear passenger and uh, also uh, as you see we have like a highly uh, innovative cockpit and uh, quite unique uh, you see that there's no uh, middle console there's a flat uh, floor and what uh, that can for example allow you to do uh, you see i'm quite of a tall person uh, i'm well over like one meter ninety and you see like it's quite easy uh, to move uh, from a side to another that can be also very helpful in some critical park situations and last but not least we wanted to uh, create a character uh, and this is also a contribution to uh, design and sustainability uh, a character that will probably help you uh, to drive this car in a more responsible manner it offers you many other possibilities or uh, an additional freedom uh, the way you could for example sit in this car for example while uh, waiting it happens to me uh, sometimes to simply grab a book while waiting in a car uh, if I need to uh, and basically like I can also sit for example like that lie on the door panel uh, which is also designed in a way that you can also lean on that so this is also one of the many ideas that we have in the interior of the i3 which basically depict the idea of next premium but also qualifies on the aspect and how clean is it how clever it is and also how premium it is if you ask me my personal feeling uh, regarding now uh, this completed car, uh, the production i3, uh, it would probably take me a whole day to tell you all the things I really love on this car. Uh, what I ex essentially love is the general ID uh, of the car. I think all customers will be very special. Uh, there will be some pioneers and uh, I'm sure they will certainly love the car. Uh, some other won't probably like, uh, like this is also something I love or I hate, uh, but this is also important. Uh, this is not the mission of like this, let's say, to convince the whole world. It would be way too ambitious, but probably to convince already a small part of the world, and especially like with people who are like more pioneer. You could write in this, uh, on this car with a big, let's say, sticker, uh, I'm going to change the world. Uh, this is what this car is a bit telling you. Uh, like, and it is possible. Uh, to, to combine, actually, 
uh, again, this idea of like, okay, let's move on with a couple of like new things, let's change a few things, let's be more responsible. We don't want to give up on the good things we know in life, uh, such as beauty and a certain hour of performance. This is of course important, but again, uh, I still fulfill you know, to this statement, you know, like uh, this is a car which is unique uh, for very unique people.